Hi everyone, today I'm going to fly this 4-inch Patriot. I have a build video on this rocket. A couple of things I want to know is I added 4 ounces of weight to the nose cone. I checked it in an open rocket and it was not stable enough. So that brought the stability up to a caliber of 1, which is perfect for this kit. Another thing I'd like to know is that I've put a shear pin in the nose cone. I hope you can see it there uh, because now that I've added the weight, the nose cone is more likely to pop off because I also have a payload section. So that really secures the nose cone. I don't have to worry about it coming off. On the business end of the kit, I have a nice retainer here. This is an injection molded polycarbonate retainer by Launch Lab Rocketry. I'll leave a link in the description on that. I like the oversized knob and it's only $17. So that is a real bargain. Also, one other thing I did was on the kit, is I made the fins slightly larger because the fins that came with the kit, they probably were correct for the rocket, but as a replica, but I just thought they were a little bit too small. I wanted something that uh, to change the look of it, and I really like how it came out. This is the first time flight for this. I'm gonna launch it on a sugar motor. So I'm going to put the rocket down for just a minute, and we'll talk about delay grains for a sugar motor. Sugar motors do not burn quite as hot as a commercial APCP motor. So that changes the delay grain. So what I've done is I compensate for it by how I drill out the delay. I'm using a Loki style and for a medium delay, you want to drill for a small because it burns at a different rate. That usually works out just about right. They come in brown or black. The black burns a little bit longer than the brown. I haven't found that there's a lot of difference, but it can help you to dial in your delays. Uh, let's say you drill for a small, you need a medium delay, and it burns too short. You could next time try a black delay, or you could just drill it for a, a different uh, length of time. But anyways, that, that'll give you an idea. I keep track of everything so that I know where to start. And if I have a similar rocket, uh, I also know what's gonna work if it's a similar weight and size. I have one more money saving tip for you. Instead of using a Kevlar blanket, I'm using this piece of blue jean material. I had a pair of blue jeans that were pretty ratty looking and uh, I decided to try this for a blanket to protect the parachute and they don't last quite as well as the Kevlar, but they do work and it saves money and it's recycling at its best. All right, let's go out, launch that rocket. Clear. Rain, sky clear. Sky's clear. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Got the arc. 